G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to be looking at installing with GDebi. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start with actually installing GDebi itself. So we'll do a, and I've added sudo to, to my Debian install here. We're going to sudo apt install GDebi. Y for yes, install that. Okay, so that's GDB installed. In my downloads folder, I've downloaded VirtualBox. So what we're going to do here is we're going to double click on VirtualBox to install with GDB. And as you'll see, normally, virt normally when you double click, it's opening up with Archive Manager. So we need to open up with another application. We'll, we'll select GDB and select that and we can select install package put in our password and that'll go ahead and install VirtualBox now the reason why I've started off with VirtualBox is I want to show you that double clicking on GDebi well actually we need to probably right click on one of these .deb files and go to properties and open with GDebi as default so set that as default then any .deb file probably I would have to think and yet open with GDeb so it'll probably open automatically now. Right, so that is VirtualBox installed using GDeb. So let's just check that VirtualBox is there and it's running. And all's good, so no problem there. So what we the, the reason why I've done that first is because there's a cherry tree .deb file that I've downloaded. And I'll leave the, uh, just in case you're interested in Cherry Tree, I use it. Cherry Tree for some reason has a dependency issue. So if we double click on Cherry Tree, you will see that uh, dependency not satisfiable, Python GTK source view 2. Now the other way we can do this is we can, at currently we're in downloads. If I change directory to downloads, if I put Anything in your home folder, you don't have to put a slash. You can just start with capital D-O-W, hit the tab key to auto-complete and press enter. So if we LS for list, and that'll show us what's in the downloads folder. And you can see cherry tree, and also um, one that I've downloaded is the Python GTK source view 2. First of all, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sudo GDeb, and I'm going to install cherry tree through here. So I'm just going to type the first few words, tab key to autocomplete, and press enter, put in my password. So also what we get here is the same deal. It'll tell us if you run just with installing GDeb and the name of the .deb file, you can also install that way in the terminal. You could also use Synaptic Package Manager and we could do a search for Cherry Tree. And yes, Cherry Tree is not available in Synaptic Package Manager because I'm installing via a .deb file which I've downloaded from the cherry tree site. So this is the problem here is this one here. So what I want to show you what I did here is when I discovered that uh, dependency issue I went to Google and did a search for copy and paste that would be easier for me. Download .deb and paste that file name in there. And what you'll come across here on this search, Python GTK source view to download deb. So this one here, and that'll open up there. Now it says it's for stretch, but it will work in Buster. So what we do is we click on this shortcut here, and we scroll down till we get to download, which is here. And we download this one here, which is what I've got in my downloads folder is that there. So what we can do is now that we've selected um, these to open up by default with GDeb, open with a default application, we could do in the terminal 
now that we're in downloads, we could um, sudo gdebi and we could start typing the name of that file, which is Python, and tab to autocomplete, and we could install it that way. Uh, but if we want to do it in the graphical sense, then we can just use GDB, which is already installed. So we double click that. Uh, requires the installation of seven packages. It's telling you there's another seven packages required. So let's install the package. Password. So if you're lucky, um, and when you're installing a .deb file and there is a dependency issue in Debian, uh, you could do a search for the name of dependency and .deb and a down, downloads, uh, which is what I search for. And if you're lucky, you will find something for that dependency, which I did. So now what we can do is close that and then we can double click Cherry Tree. And we can install package, put in my password. As you can see, Cherry Tree has installed without any issues. All we needed was that dependency. And I think that dependency holds another seven or six odd packages, dependencies within that dependency. So it can, if you start chasing all the dependencies, um, which is what I did at one point, what I actually did was in this one here, I typed, uh, what is it, sudo, dpkg-i and the name of Python and uh, it's tab to autocomplete and then I, I did it that way I was trying to do it with the Debian package installer which is the command in the terminal to do that and it came up with a whole list of I should have actually done that before I installed it but it came up with a whole list of dependencies um, there was about six or so dependencies there. And on the bottom of the list was the Python, uh, that Python GTK source view two. But I wouldn't have known it was that one unless I did um, the command of GDB instead of dpackage installer in the, in the terminal, or I opened it up with the GDB package manager. And that and what that does is pinpoints the exact dependency you're after because getting a list of all the other dependencies is uh, not very helpful unless you know which one's the main dependency of all those, which is <laughs> which is what I was having a problem with. I didn't know which one was the main dependency and then I worked it out this way. So that is installing packages with GDB on Debian 10 Buster. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting and informative, and thanks for watching.